Today is an exciting day because we've never been further north than this place. I can't believe Slimmerslope just did that. We're venturing off into the grand and wonderful unknown. We're gonna push on to the Percy's tomorrow. Another early morning, another long day. See you in a bit. It's been a while since we had a shower. We're gonna throw a bucket in the water and we're gonna have a shower. This is Slim. Three knots on the face, Skipper! I'm Soph, the Skipper. Oh, and we have a fluffy crew member too, Chili. We live aboard our 1989 Duncanson 34. She may be vintage, but her glory days are far from over. We're taking her around Australia, exploring our beautiful Aussie backyard. We put new videos out every Monday, so subscribe. Come along with us. Alright, so the sun's just starting to come up. We're gonna get the chain up. We've got the tender up today. We're setting off. We've got like a nine hour sail ahead of us um, to Pearl Bay. Oh, I was gonna say there's no wind, but I just felt a breeze, so that's, that's promising as. Hopefully, we're not motoring all day and we've got the spinnaker ready to go. Let's do it. Today is an exciting day because we've never been further north than this place. So we're going further north than we have ever have. <laughs> we ever have It's been. early. Never, we've never been further north. north so we're going further north than we have been before. And that's exciting because from here on out, it is a mystery for us. I'm not going to say for you because I don't know your situation and for Chile. We're venturing off into the grand and wonderful unknown. Cheers. <laughs> you look so grumpy. Smart one. It's tired, isn't it? Yeah. Watching <laughs> That's the first time the pole has actually come out of its its spot and onto the foredeck. <laughs> we told you we're gonna do new things. It's, it's a whole different adventure. Thank you. How good to look? <laughs> good morning! <laughs> this is the second time we've got the spinnaker out, but the first time we've set it up properly with the pole. Well, it's the first time we've ever used the pole too. This isn't like we just got the boat. We're coming on to four years of Nakama. And although I've set up spinnakers aboard other boats with crew, the responsibility of such a huge sail daunted on me. I suppose slowly gaining the confidence to break the ice with this very large sail, we now call small, was a long process, but we're here now, and we've just got our first taste of light wind sailing without that bloody engine. Can we be honest? Give it to me straight now, let me can breathe again. Simon's tired. I didn't sleep last night. I'm sleeping now. This is Simon sleeping. And this is me sleeping. This is how I was sleeping last night. Just wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> Same as now, yeah. 
Are you guys proud of us? Because I'm pretty proud of us. This is the first time we've actually not just played around with the spinnaker, but like used it to like sail. <laughs> and it's going very well so far. Burn of the truth, you're feeding me safe lines like I'll never ask for the proof. The wind died on us, and now we're in a tangled mess. What the hell? So, the line that pulls the sock up and down has just become so tangled that we couldn't get the sock back down over it so we've just lowered the whole thing and now we'll try and untangle this rope and yes that is the engine you can hear again we were doing so well but of course always too good to be true and it doesn't last very long. We're actually heading between these two very narrow, well, an island and a headland. This coastline has so far impressed us. It's so spectacular. It's very like Jurassic Park, Jurassic World kind of vibes. Huh? That was exciting. It was. It's like a proper Aussie pub meal. Little schnitzel burger. We always stock up on not chicken, schnitzel things when we're at places with supermarkets. This is the last of our naughty food, I think. Any excuse to eat pickled beetroot. Mm. Simon loves canned beetroot and I'm not the biggest fan of it so he's always wanting like chicken burgers with beetroot or he's always hassling me when we're in the supermarket to get it and I'm like oh. Like it's okay but I think I just I've eaten way too much of it in in my time. I also used to work in a bakery. It's <laughs> like you didn't know about me. I used to work in a bakery and had to make people sandwiches and it had lots of tin beetroot. Maybe that's why I'm not the biggest fan of tin beetroot. Get a wind back up again? Hopefully. Maybe. See how we go. The mountains meeting the sea is just like crazy. We're way too excited looking for a spot to drop anchor and we're like crap, we need to put the main down. So we're gonna do that and then we'll start looking for a spot to settle. Looking for a spot to, to settle. settle yeah. Looking for a spot to settle. I'm just settling my friends like a settle and Gretel. Don't forget that you've started boiling the kettle. I found a shell and then I dropped it. Uh, yeah, we've come to the beach, we thought we'd have some beers, but there's way too many midges and mosquitoes, so we're getting back to the boat immediately. <laughs> Woo! I just got one! Cheap, special when we only care for half the truth. I don't know what you Cheers for catching the lines, Chili. Always appreciated, mate. <laughs> New places, Chill. We haven't even been here either. We spoil your rock. We spoil your rock.
Unfortunately, we're not going to stay here for another day. I think we're just going to keep on heading north. There's always a reception here. I have a lot of stuff to do. I found out I have an assignment due next week and <laughs> I'm freaking out. <laughs> so we need a reception really badly. So we're gonna push on to the Percy's tomorrow. Uh, so another early morning, another long day. But yeah, exciting. We've been waiting to go to the Percy's for a really long time, so. We're getting them miles in. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna enjoy our night tonight, make potato leek soup, probably watch a little bit of a movie and then probably pass out really early. Yes. So, yeah. It's almost like a pool. Like you'd have so much protection in a westerly with those hills. It is almost a pool. Pool weather, almost, except for that. Except for the northerns. And... Swell. But swell would be annoying. No, but these oh, islands protect so much of the swell. But that little, yeah. If it was anything other than like a dead east swell, you'd probably be alright. Oh, if it was an easterly swell, I feel like it would funnel through there. Yeah, it would be so good. Get absolutely swashed. You'd get smacked. Yes, squanched. Squanch. You guys know how to cook potato leek soup? Neither really. Well, that was the one part I was certain about. I know I definitely got to chuck some leek in it. I lied. I know I got to put potatoes in as well. Probably use some stock. Probably use heaps of butter because that'll make good for all of my other mistakes when I'm doing this. And I'll probably put a bit of extra onion in too because that leek's a bit dry for me in the fridge for ages. Maybe a bit of oat milk or something. I don't know. Clap transition. Tonight we're cooking with leeks. Do you know what leeks are, Chili? Mmm, it's leaky. Also gonna put some onion in it. What was that? A little bit of garlic. What else do you reckon? Chuck some toast on it, you reckon? A bit of toast? <laughs> no, no toast for chill. And then I was chili, 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 I was thinking some butter. Alright, it's pretty basic, but sometimes basics good. Simple is bliss, and this is pretty bloody brilliant. I feel like I'm doing that, like, you know that, like, a crisp, crispy yeah. flake. I know, that I feel like A buttery, I'm in, crispy flake. I feel like I'm in, like, a potato and leek advertisement right now. Mmm. Oh. Feeling so enthusiastic this morning, but we finally gotten up. Not finally gotten up, we got up, but just a couple of other things. Now it's almost light and pulling up anchor. Australia needs to go to the Percy's or once I can't not, not saying you need to go because I haven't even been but you know what I mean everyone wants to go but oh that went off track um 
We've got a 55 nautical mile trip today. 10 hours, we did it our maths on, so yeah. <laughs> salt water filling our bilges again. It's been a while though, we had a pretty good run since the last week. See you in a bit. Slim is checking all around the engine, cockpit drains, around the sail drive and all other points where water could potentially make its way in. Ah, the joys. I think we've now put it to a pipe. <laughs> Not related to the engine. I think a leak in the transom where it joins in the transom and goes out the back. I think it's leaking in there. Simon and I are feeling pretty confident that it's not like a hectic leak. We're not like structurally taking on water or anything. I think it's just a pipe. Anyway, <laughs> now that it's, we're chilling. It's been a while since we had a shower. It's actually quite hot today. We're gonna throw a bucket in the water and we're gonna have a shower. And I'm so excited. <laughs> oh, it feels so good. Yeah. I don't need no more good reasons to leave the seasons of breezes. Jesus, the season's about as cool as my t-shirt. This chick is old school. I shall go with Edith. She feed me shellfish. I need it since I don't eat beef or chicken. Pork always bleeding. Y'all had enough of your summer. Go leave and go back to Bummer, Ohio. Why only wild out on the weekend? I'm on a surface safari with a stunner for certain. Sir, I'm sorry if you only thought of putting just your feet in. Well, thanks for hanging out with us this week, guys. Make sure to catch us next week. Run, yeah. <laughs> it's crazy to finally see it in person. I've seen it all over the internet. It's so cool. I feel like I'm in this pirate shack. How good's tin food? It makes you feel like you're camping. We'll see you then. Girls that got kids go out. Get the babysitter paid and don't go home now.